It's a pretty unique room. I remember having some women that were walking by one time for the tour of homes, so I invited them up there. And lo and behold, I knew all of their husbands. They were all professors at the university. And this French one, her husband had died. She said, why, this has to be one of the most beautiful rooms in El Paso. And I kind of agree with her. It's, it's a unique little place, creates a nice atmosphere. One of my sisters, I have eight, I had eight older sisters. This one is now 90 years old. She came one day and she said, why don't you all just leave and go to Juarez or something? I just want to stay here alone. When we all got back, she said, I could have died in this library. It's so peaceful here. And then she says, and don't leave anything to the family. This is the legacy that should be preserved for, for, the, for, the, for the people, she said. And there's been talk in El Paso of building a museum, but these things rarely ever come to fruition. It's expensive to have a museum. Now that people leave their collections to institutions, they want you to actually leave enough money and endowment so that the collection can be preserved and shown and whatever they do, curated. So it's kind of a problem when you're approaching the end of your life. Somebody once said, you spend half of your life collecting and the other half disposing of it. It's very true. When you're young, you never give up much thought. And I never, I never set out to be a collector. I just enjoyed helping people out and I'd end up with all of these things. Somebody would get into a problem and, oh Juan, you have to help me out. You, you're the only one that would appreciate what I have and you can have it very inexpensively, so I'd end up with all of these things, which I would eventually redistribute, distribute. I never have liked selling things. I, I'd rather give them to people that will enjoy them. So it makes life interesting.